Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And in today's On Shape Quick Tip, we're gonna talk about designing two parts so they fit and work together. Now this was a question that I got a lot in my previous On Shape Assemblies video. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can first design this tray for the soap dish and then design this upper shelf so it fits perfectly in that tray. Ow. So in other CAD systems, this might be considered an in-context assembly or some other special type of functionality. But the cool thing about Onshape is that this just is kind of the way Onshape is designed to work. Onshape knows that you and your team are gonna be designing parts that need to function together. So they've just kind of built that functionality into the default mode. So here what I'll do is I'll start out by creating the lower tray for this soap dish. All right, so now that we've created the geometry for this lower section of the soap tray, we're ready to create the geometry for this upper shelf. And these two parts are intended to work together. If the lower section of this design gets bigger, if this part gets larger, we want this upper section or this upper part to also grow at the same proportion. So to do that in on shape, it's really simple. All we need to do is just begin another sketch. So I'll select this face here. I'll choose to begin a new sketch. And then I'm gonna get into an offset entities command. Now I can take this edge here, right mouse button, select and select tangent connected edges. And then I can choose to offset this to a distance of, let's left mouse button in the background, 0.5 millimeters. So now we see that we've created an offset here for just a little bit of clearance and we're ready to take that geometry and turn it into an extrusion. So we go into extrusion here. And now this is where things are gonna be a little different because this sketch and this extrusion started out coplanar to an existing solid. The default behavior here is to add, meaning it's just another extrusion, but we're gonna choose new, which is gonna create now a new solid body or a new part in this on shape part studio. So you can see here that I can then say that I want that to go up to a height of two millimeters. And we can see here that now when we hit the green check mark, we're left with two separate parts in our part studio. So we've got the lower section or the tray, and then the upper section or the shelf. Now, just like you might do in an assembly, we can do a right mouse button here and choose rename. We could call this tray. We can go here to this one. We can also use uh, shift N, that's the shortcut, shift N. We could call this one shelf. So it's almost like we've got two separate parts here existing in one single part studio. Now at this point, maybe we wanna add the cut extrude for those holes in the shelf. Well, I'm gonna to choose to create a new sketch here. I'm gonna create the first circle for this cut extrude. Let's say I just put a circle here. I'll make that uh, 12 millimeters in diameter. And then I'm gonna to choose to extrude cut that. So I'll do a remove here. And I'll say this is gonna be removed through wall. But you'll notice it down here at the bottom, I have this option for merge scope. And so in the merge scope, if I were to choose this part as well, the tray, you see that now the merge scope shows me that this feature is affecting both the shelf and the tray. Or if I click on the tray again, that is removed from the merge scope. And now that cut extrude is going through all, but that cut extrude is only going to affect the shelf. So these are some tools that you use when you're designing your parts together in Onshape. Now, what you cannot do is you cannot take these parts and move them away from one another or add mates because we're not in an assembly. So to get that functionality, you would click on the assembly tab down at the bottom here, and then you would choose insert. And when we choose insert, we can see that by default, all of the parts that exist in any of our part studios are listed. And if we click on the name of the part studio itself, all of the parts that are inside of that part studio are added to the assembly in one single command. Now, at this point, we could begin dragging these parts away from one another, adding mates, or doing the other things that we would typically do in an assembly. But of course, if we were to go back to the part studio and make a change to that base part, let's say for example, we were to change this from 65 to 85, well, the tray is going to update, the shelf is going to update, and here in the assembly, both of the parts are gonna update as well. So Onshape makes it very easy for you and your team to design multiple parts so that they function and fit together. But let me know if you have any follow-up questions down in the comments below. And of course, if you're enjoying the series, be sure to like and be sure to subscribe. I'll see everybody in the next one.